Hey everyone, my name is Nakash Ahmed and you are watching Notch 365 Academy. Welcome to my channel once again. And today I'm going to bring you a very exciting video and uh, something new for Microsoft Teams. But this time I'm also using I'll be also using Power Apps for integrating with Microsoft Teams. Uh, Power Apps, if you don't know about it, it's a power platform for by Microsoft. And what it does is it provides you the platform to create application with low code or, or no code, uh, uh, no code uh, environment. So what you have to do is you can simply just drag and drop and create triggers and connectors. And that's all. That's how you make application in Power Apps. And then connect it with Power Automate, which is the newer version of Flow, uh, which was previously called as Microsoft Flow. So this is the application for teams teams plus power apps where you can create power apps inside teams but for this purpose of video i'm i have a fun use case which i found in a very good blog by blog and a video so uh, what we are going to do is we are going to create an application in power apps or if you have already then that's that will work too we are going to add that application in the teams meeting okay so the perfect use case would be like this, that if there is any sales meeting or marketing meeting and you need the employees uh, survey or employees views, or even if you are a teacher and uh, if you are in the classroom and you want to have a quiz, a, a quick quiz with your students, you can simply uh, pull up your power apps for that quiz and uh, run it uh, right inside the meeting. Okay, so let's uh, start how we, how we can do it. Uh, let's first go to the power apps. So I'm here as a global administrator with office 365 and I have a power apps also. Uh, but keep in mind that you must have some application and also power apps license. So I already have some applications created, created here. You can see there are so many applications. Uh, I'm going to choose this privilege access request application for now. So the first step is to have this application and click on add to teams okay power i'm in the power as portal go to the application and click on add to teams so this will add a package for our teams you can see the details we have two steps review and download your zip file okay upload your app as a custom app to the teams all right so now we can also have some advanced setting which i'm going to ignore for now just click download app what this will do is this will create a package for our uh, application okay let me save it uh, let me save it on in here work this will create a package for our application for power apps and then we can upload it in teams okay show in folder but there's a tricky part here that i have to do it so what you can do is you can simply go here click on extract all click extract Now go to that extracted folder, click on this manifest.json file because this is the most important file. This holds all the application data, its front end, its uh, connectors and everything. So yeah, what you have to do is you have to go click right, in the right click ahead, click open with. If you have any application like uh, VS code or JSON everything, you can use that. But for now I'm using only a simple notepad. Okay. Now what you have to do is just focus on what I'm doing right now. Search for the context part. Okay. Context. So you can see these are all the real details of my application. You can see the schema, the package name, the URLs. <clears throat> you can see the description and full de description icons, everything. Context. Here it. Let me highlight it for you. This is the context part. Now, what does context means? This this is the tricky thing. Context means where this uh, power apps can be uh, uh, appended in the teams. Either it can be in the meeting details tab, in the meeting chat tab, in a private chat tab, or in a channel tab. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to have it in the meeting site panel. Okay, so how you can write it? Just in the front of the meeting details, write the double quotes and don't forget the comma. And inside the double quotes, write it like this. Meeting, site, 
panel like this make sure it is a camel case okay so I'm just write written context here in the meeting side panel and I have uh, this doesn't change anything else that's it save this file okay close it select these three files okay right click send to zip it okay name it uh, as per you like it teams meeting app one okay so now we have created a new package with our updated manifest file simply so what I'm going to do now I'm going back to my teams in the app section and uh, once it's loaded I have to uh, upload it as a custom app now the thing here is if you don't see this option upload a custom app maybe your uh, IT administrator has blocked it but uh, then you have to check it from IT admin but in case you are if you are only a normal user you can ask your IT admin to do this for you okay just go to the upload a custom app upload it for my organization okay let's go back to that uh, zip file this is the zip file make sure this you have selected the right one okay click open so now what we will do is it is adding my power apps in teams okay but the job is not done yet now my app is written uh, showing here now privilege access request okay now the next step is now we need to add it, this application to our teams meeting okay I already have set up this teams meeting okay but in case let's let me create a new one for you power apps meeting one okay let me add any uh, anyone <laughs> anyone from my organization okay let's click send doesn't matter if you have any time no no issue this is only for the purpose of training so right click on the team meeting click add it now these are the meeting options you can cancel the meeting you can change the details you can drag you can see the meeting options but at the top here you can see that these tabs here you are familiar with these tabs in the channel okay in the, and in the teams but in the teams meeting you can also see these tabs so you can see we have chat we have files we have details everything and whiteboard click on this plus tab okay now choose that application that you have just created okay like this it will ask you to add this apps okay let me add it now what it is going to do is this is the description that I've written in my power apps click save now what's going on is I'm inside my teams meeting options okay so this application will now is now added as a tab added as a tab inside my teams meeting I'm not in the channel I'm not in the teams I'm inside the teams meeting okay now let's see the magic click join Me mute myself first click join now <sighs> okay so you can see on the top bar here we have the show participant the messages the raise hand the breakout rooms and here is our application privilege access request click here and boom this is the side panel which I have written in the manifest JSON that is why I chose the um, side panel because this is it is much more convenient to see the application and also to use it so in the left side in the body part of this teams meeting you can have your participant or any screen share session and in the right side you can see this app running you can simply just go here and sub run the application like normal power apps simply so it will go ahead and do it all the operations of your power apps okay and uh, let me tell you two things here in order to have your users your attendees of this meeting to use this app application they need to have this application shared with 
okay if they are not the part of this application let me show you how you need to share it with them share it like this okay so they need to be have this application shared first then they can be able to use it and the second thing is this feature is just available in teams desktop application you cannot able to do it in teams web client for now okay so i hope you have liked this video and uh, this is the really good uh, feature uh, that teams and power apps uh, together make so uh, there are lots of use cases that you can use it for, like i already said if there is any uh, uh, any like any meeting any sales meeting so you can uh, use this application for survey purpose for quiz purpose if there is any classroom where a teacher can interact with your with those with the students with these apps okay so thank you so much for watching my video if you have any questions any ideas do share with me in the comment section and do watch and subscribe on my channel also thank you so much